Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Cross Story 2. So, yes, uh, my upload schedule is very, very wonky these last couple of days. Not even days, weeks more. And most of the reason that is work-related, as always. And I'm just trying to be more on top of it, just so that we can make more progress over here. Usually... I spend some time in preparing episodes so that we don't have to do specific things on the camera stream. But I think for this week, uh, we are going to not do that so that we at least can get some, some factorial madness out there and just keep on working on the base because there's still quite a lot of things to do. As you can see, the mall over here, and I think this thing is way too big for anything that we ever need, but the mall in here is completely put in and is ready to go. I also fixed up the train schedule down here for this train over here because this train over here, yeah. Uh, the schedule over here was kind of broken. Uh, I didn't use, I think, half of the stations I prepared for it. Uh, but everything over here is ready to go. There's no waiting conditions over here, which is fine. Um, they will only go to the next station if the next station opens up. That will be their implicit waiting condition. I'm also kind of investing a little bit in train braking force over here. Because these trains over here have a ludicrous amount of acceleration, but, well, slowing them down is, well, yeah. <laughs> it takes a while. Good, 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 good. So, let's go down back to Novice, because there's a couple of things we need to do. For one, we do want to give the Space Mall some life. And to give the Space Mall some life, we will need to make, of course, all the Space Machines. And most of the space machines over here, they do require big electric motors. And we need to work on big electric motors. Now, I've already prepared uh, yet another boring meeting where I could not record. Um, and also have to find it. Where did I place it? Uh, it's over here. There we go. I've already made a machine over here that makes small electric motors. Quite a bit of them. And we do need small electric motors to make big electric motors. So let's design the machine for big electric motors right away. I was also kind of thinking about, maybe let's start with that. Um, I was also kind of thinking about how we could get more iron and more copper into space without having to rebuild the smeltery yet again. Um, and I came to the conclusion that probably the easiest way for us to do it, actually, let's drive by here real quick because I do have some pocket stuff. There we go. And put it all in there, please. There we go. And um, I was kind of thinking about the best way to probably do it is just to... Uh, dedicate, we, we got two copper smelters and two iron smelters and one steel smelter and we're just going to dedicate one of the copper and one of the iron smelters for space production. As for the steel smelter, we're going to have to, oh there's uranium over there, what the hell. <laughs> for the steel smelter, we are just have to make or try to fiddle in a second station if possible and I've seen a way how to do it. It's a little bit around the corner, but I think that will be a very fine way to do Good, 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 good. There we go. Also, this is yet another sneaky lunchtime recording. Ow. Um, and, well, sneaky lunchtime recordings are going to be sneaky lunchtime recordings. Good. Let's get some of these small electric engines on the road. There we go. There we go. We can already see over here that this machine over here, uh, they're, they're, they're completely and utterly vomit vomiting out the small electric engines over here. We're going to make the big electric engines right next to this, if possible. I don't really want to build over the core seam. Um, we will have to see if we can make it fit over here. If not, maybe some land filling over here and just place it over there. We might end up building it over there. But let's focus first and foremost uh, to see if we can make some use of this over here. There we go. So these are our iron smelters, our copper smelters. And the trick I kind of wanted to do, and the trick we can't do, is maybe try to add another train line in here. But you can already see... There's no way we're going to fit another train line in here. But what we could do, we could do, and I just have to check up real quick how we named you over there. Uh, okay, we added like a space elevator symbol to it. Good. So if we take you and we just rename you into components, add a space elevator to it. There we go. Did that rename everything for everyone? Or did it only rename? Um, you got one train that is... This train over here, perfect. You are going to be... Let's put your manual real quick. And let's hope that nobody backs up into you. Uh, we also need to go into space. And we don't even have that station yet. Let's go into space real quick. There we go. That will be down here. You, This one. 
Magic Monkey. No, that's not going to be your name. Your name is going to be, well, almost this. Let's remove that and add the copper plate to it. Copper plate, space requester. There we go. And now we should have all the parts that we need to make this thing move again. There we go. Uh, yeah, keep alt mode on. Good. Remove that schedule entirely. We are first and foremost going into uh, search for copper. Wait a minute. Do we not rename this correctly? Am I going mad? <laughs> Wait a minute. What did we rename? Mm. I thought for sure that we renamed you correctly. Something, something feels wrong. Okay, let's have a look over here. Stations. Mm. We got this one over there. We got two of these. Two of these. I managed to rename you. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> There we go. All right, your schedule is now com completely and utterly broken. Um, yeah, this is the one for, for going into space, and this is the one for going not... Okay, we, we completely broke it. I might even just reload the save game. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, yeah, you're fine. I don't think we can use this interface over here to find trains going across surfaces, but we can definitely, when I can find it again, it's over here. So, you are the standard provider. You you remove everything over here. <laughs> Good God. That's, that's more or less the state of me at the moment. Like, like, things are way too hectic at work, and trying to get something like this in is definitely breaking things beyond control. You there. Yes, you. Here we go. Let's try this one more time. Uh, space elevator. Add that in. Good. You have now no train stations over here. You are completely blanco. Perfect. We go over here first full cargo then of course we go orbit into space input well off we go you were still an automatic uh let's let's have haste let's have some haste then we go up then we go into the output then we go into the copper plate requester we empty ourselves out afterwards we go into the orbital to surface Input stacker, followed up by we going back down to novice when I can find it. I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens to this display once this train goes up. Good thing the autosave is right over here. It will probably break everything. So what happens to this interface? Oh, it, it just goes away. <laughs> um, okay, good to know. Up we go. There you are. What is going on over here? <laughs> Did you see that? Um, we will have to check that out as well. Uh, you go to the import. There we go. Then we go back down. And afterwards, you go to the output. Here we go. Here we go. So what happened over there? That was weird. We could probably try. Uh, let me just wait a minute. We don't need to fly over there. We can use this thing over there to get over there. Was it just this machine over here being out of... No, you're completely full of everything. He went up step by step and couldn't find the correct path to go. That's interesting. Usually they just beam up in here straight away. Is there a signal missing over here or something like that? Oh, wait. I think there might be a signal missing. Wait, is there... There are no signals whatsoever over here. <laughs> There is a signal over here. Oh, actually. Oh, no. They're hidden behind the power poles. Never mind. Um, there are signals over here. Still, that was very, very weird. Um, I'm very confused by that. But let's try again with you over here. So we now got one dedicated copper plate train. And I think one dedicated copper plate train is more than enough. Uh, we are now going to do the same thing over here for you. Mm, where we just go around. We might have now too much iron plate trains. That is fine, I guess. But we will go around and actually just rename you. There we go. Give it the space. Find the space elevator item. There we go. That will be your name. And then we go up in here. And we're going to rename you. 
into... Nope, not like that. Iron plates, there we go. And then, not only that, we are going to have one of these, and then two, two, eight, requester. Here we go. Have a limit of one. You the same, have a limit of one. There we go. That almost uh, went completely and utterly wrong. You're still unloading, that is perfectly fine. And this train over here, put your manual, take all of this out. You are going into... Actually, we should look like this. Iron. This one and that one. And not only that. We need these two. There's probably a better way to do this than the way I'm doing it right now. And then... We don't really have called that input stack or output stack. What we could look for is space elevator. There we go. And then we need all of these stations. One could do it like this. This is very a very confusing way of doing it. Absolutely. Um, there we go. So now we basically just need to sort this accordingly. Um, space input, output, and then there we go. That seems to be correct. So we go to the provider, we go to the input stacker, we go up, we go to the output stacker, we go to our requester, we go back to the input stacker, we go down, and we go back to the output stacker. Here we go. So, I kind of wanted to get in and wait a minute. Maybe, maybe if we're fast enough, can I, can I board a train while in jetpack mode? Good God, that train is fast. Is my jetpack faster? No, it's not. But he should be going around right over there. Bottom track. There we go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Let's see exactly what's going on over there. Just to see what happened over there. Because uh, it, it seemed to be like, like he was going up. Then he was confused where to go. So he didn't find the path. Once he was up there, he did find the path. And then he moved like for a bit. And then he updated again. So... Yeah, no path, and then, oh, yes, I remember my path is, no path, next wagon comes up, no path. Am I doing something wrong over here? I was kind of hoping it would be like a sliding window, you know, and he definitely, absolutely wants to go over here. Do we need, yeah, we do need input and output stackers, we, we do need to take into account how many trains are coming up and down. And I don't really understand how... Oh, wait. Is it maybe... No. That makes no sense. Hmm. I'm a bit flustered. And a little bit confused about what's going on over here. Is there maybe a signal missing? He went all the way over here. These signals over here, they don't react. These signals over here... They... Do not react to what's happening over here. We do have an implicit signal over here, I think. It's kind of hard to see, but there's it over there. And there should be an implicit signal over there. It's over here. But what's going on over here? This is very confusing. This, is, this almost feels like work again, where I'm just debugging various behaviors that are very, very, very confusing. Um, but this should be fine. You should be able to go over here. This one over here does not... Locked down. It's always set to like one train is available to go from there. So that is fine. Is he maybe? Is it maybe the tail end over here? But then again, he should he should be completely ignoring this station over here. If this station over here opens and closes, it it should not matter for the train that's going up and down. Oh, this is this is confusing. I kind of want to see it happen again. Um. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where is the copper train? The copper train should have arrived back over here. He's back over here. And he's filling up. He's almost ready to go. Uh, we should probably still add a second machine over here, turning more of this into copper plates. Definitely should do that. But let's see what's going to happen over here. I'm, I'm very, very... Actually, here, just, just yeah, send it. You don't even need full or empty cargo. Just send it. And not only that, I'm going to set a save over here real quick. And we're going to call it Train Debug. And let's see what's going on over here. We do have some, 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 some special debug values over here. Stop point, braking distance, signals, train repathing. Show train, no path details. There we go. I'm just going to turn all of these on and see what happens. Um, as for path... Mm, show rail paths. That might also be good. 
Maybe, maybe we can see something over here. We can see that one train over here tries to go over there, and then it tries to go all the way over there. Ooh. What the hell? We get a whole bunch of locations and information over here. Um, it's it's a little bit... Wait a minute. Let's go over here. All right. What, what does this tell us? We've got even information and data. The train managed to get out. Perfect. And I think the same happened going down as well, because, well, sadly, both trains went... Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's use, that's a useful debugging menu. I never knew this was possible. But I think we got, like, both of the messages overlaying over here. Yeah, this is the output thingamajig. Um... Does, does he get confused? I've got the feeling he gets confused over here. For some reason, he wants to path over here, which I guess is fine, but his original destination was over here. Let's have a look at that. We, we can load the save. Let's load the save. Because it's a perfect use case for us to analyze this issue. Here we go. And not only that, you stop. <laughs> I only want one set of debug messages for this one. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I also kind of want to see what happens over here at this station. If we can't see the train trying to pathfind over here. I mean, technically, he should try to reserve the ability to go over there. It might just be that that... There we go. He wants to go over there. I mean, he's, he's pretty accurate where he wants to go. I might have to send this over to, to like, the space exploration guys and go, like, hey, hey dudes, uh, something weird is happening over here. I'm just going to clip this and going to send them over to them. Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Good. Nevertheless... We're just going to ignore that for now. Uh, this definitely requires a whole bunch more of, of in-depth debugging. And it's probably something stupid. It is always something stupid. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's something very, very stupid. Uh, let's also deactivate that one. And let's focus on the intention that the problem at hand. So one of the problems, of course, is we need more uh, train stations over here. Here we go. And I don't think we have a blueprint for that yet. So, yeah, let's copy over this whole thing, the whole block. We're not going to take the train stop names, but we are going to take the tiles with us. Here we go. So, we can go like one over there and one over there. We don't have the tiles on us. So, let's go fetch them. <laughs> let's go to where the space wall is and let's go fetch them. Also, it seems that the tiles over here is, it's not stuck. It's still going. Good, 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 good. But very curious. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about why it now is the case and why we get that kind of behavior. I guess it has something to do with how the train goes up and down the lift. But we've definitely seen the train uh, move up and down the lift in an easier and better way. Either way, we still have a whole bunch of space over here to move stuff around. So maybe maybe we just need to push the stacker out a little bit further along. Maybe that's the case. Maybe maybe the train just needs a little bit more space going through to figure out where it needs to go. Well, we will see. We will see. Either way, uh, let's get rid of this in my pockets. We don't really need this. We got some random ass logistic bots in here. I'm not quite sure where they came from, but we don't need them. Uh, what we do need is like everything in this chest. And then we have to be a little bit faster about this one. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> You're getting nothing. <laughs> Just using my trash lots over there to make sure that we have enough space scaffolding. Good, 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 good. But we're getting up with the breaking force. Breaking force is now sitting at... Where is it even? Mm, I'm looking with my nose. Is it even in here? Can we can we control F in here? No, we can't. Mm, is that not being shown in here? That must be wrong. Uh, let's see, that's bots, that's everything else, and there we go, train breaking force, 70%, perfect. 
also picked up this. Here we go. I should have probably also picked up some, some train tracks or something like that. But this will be fine. This will be fine. We actually don't really need the scaffolding underneath. But, I mean, we're already making, like, tons and tons of scaffolding. We might as well use tons and tons and tons of scaffolding. Speaking of, there we go. Good, good, good. Yeah, put down some down of an air. Pocket bots. Did I lose some pocket bots on the way? I did. <laughs> okay, put that back in there. <laughs> usually when you see something like that happening, that usually means that you kind of left some pocket bots somewhere. There we go. Uh, there they are. And they pocket bots. How do we lose you? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Because the job that's on the floor is reserved by one of the bots that's, that's, that's trailing you. So sometimes when you see like a bot or a thing that you place is not being placed by bots, that's the reason. That is pretty much the reason. Here we go. And then we get over there. And now we just need to wait for it to update. Don't tell me I lost more pocket bots now. Oh, there we go. We, we might as well put the stuff that we have in our pockets in our inventory. There we go. There we go. Good. Not only that. We can now also place all of this. There we go. Just so that we can add some more train stations over here. Because we do want some extra train stations. We do want to get steel in as well. By the way, you over there, you are... You can go back down to... There we go. Leave. You are allowed to leave. Good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And now we have some extra train stations. We are kind of out of lamps over there. And no, never mind, we are not. <laughs> we are not. What we do need is some space track. Let's fetch some space track real quick. And then we're good. Actually, we can do that like this. Yeah, give me like 800 of that. Let's fly back, pick it up, and then we're good to go. Good, but you can always see that we're going to need, like, everything in space from intermediates, like batteries, like electric motors. I'm not quite sure. Do we need do we need small electric motors in space? We need them for assembly machines. We need them for basic beacons, burner stuff, uh, random inserters. We, we might want to make some inserters in space. I mean, technically, it makes sense to make inserters in space because uh, we can make them super fast in space. We will probably make pumps in space. Mm, rubber ports we could think about ah there we go we need them for the space belt so we do need small electric motors in space so let's make sure that we get small electric engines in space which does remind me and i have to check up on that but we will probably have to double down the train station of these small electric engines because we are going to have one station for like only novice needs and then we're going to have an additional station for space platform needs and it's all coming at the same machine that is fine we don't really need to do too much about that there we go yeah bots do my bidding did we forget some bots again no we did not here we go here we go here we go all right you there havoc no we're gonna take this as a base and then we're gonna add steel to it where's steel here we go good one mate and then you have an air. Actually, we can just copy paste this real quick. And it's a little bit less editing. You have an air. You are going to be engines. Where are they? The small electric. Oh, it's motors, not engines. Motor. Here we go. Small electric motors. We have those available as well. And then this one over here, I guess, is just going to be big electric motors, which we still need to build, which we will be making very, very soon. Good. And things are slowly but surely unfolding. I do love that. All right. Eh. Let's work on the steel real quick. We could probably do this all via via remote interfacing, but I do kind of like the more hands-on approach. Just fly over there real quick. I mean, we do have... <laughs> what is this, a Mark II? Yeah, a Mark II truster suit with two additional Mark III jetpacks. We're fast enough. We are definitely, absolutely fast enough. Good steel. Steel is up here. And let's have a peek at it. There we go. So, over here, we got the same issue. We could maybe put down a train station over here. And then... Yeah, it, it will be terrible over here. As soon as we reach that position, it will be terrible. 
which is a perfect position to be in, but not for today. So instead, we're going to give it a little bit more space. And it should be fine. Is that fine? <laughs> That's not fine. We need more space. We definitely need more space. I can already see myself needing more space. So here we go. Good. Because we got this part over here and this part over here. And we need eight belts going through. And this is wide enough to put through four belts each. So we are going to do that. I'm a little bit concerned about my bots again. Oh, what the hell? What happened to you? <laughs> Excuse me. How do I keep forgetting about my bots? Come on. <laughs> they, they, we probably flew over something that they wanted to pick up. They don't even pick up anything. Did I accidentally eject them while going down? Yeah, it basically so shows you maybe turn off your personal robot port whenever you're traveling because you're just going to forget about your bots all the time. Like, <laughs> all the time. Good, 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 good. Turn them on again. Here we go. Bots away, please. And the most important part is going to be this part over here, actually. So we got a blue belt coming in. Blue belt is fine. Uh, that means we can have we have enough space over here to upgrade it to something faster. Uh, we definitely do want the blue belt to go through here. And we're just going to sketch it for now. Which does mean that we're going to have... Oh, perfect. Yeah, well, the lamp has to go. I'm sorry about that lamp. But you have to go. Then we could decide either, either side over here. We're going this way. Here we go. And then just connect the view. Same thing over there. Just connect the view. And then let's see. We could have one over there, one over there. Done. And done. And then we just need to get it over there and we will be fine. Over here, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Um, mostly because, well, we will see. We will see. Let's, let's, let's try what we can make do over here. Here we go. Here we go. And most of the tricky part is actually going to be this connection over here. We could try, and that will actually make it easier. Here. We're going to do the following. Let's also turn off the jetpack because, good God, that, that thing makes it so hard to see sometimes. Here we go. You go into the air. You go into the air. You actually go into the air. This we pick up. There we go. And then over here, it's just going to be one of these, one of these. Should we move the rock, please? And voila. That should be fine. And then we can just pull it all the way over here. And I don't think I've got enough blue belt in my pocket to do all of that. But we're going to move it all the way over here. And then the same thing over here. Mm, here we go. We can just tweak the power pull a bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we already know that we're going to have a station over here somewhere. Here we go. This will be fine. This will be fine. Excellent. And then one, two. So we have one input over there. We've got like one input over there, one over there, one over there, and then the other way around. And if you think about it, you want to be over there. These two can go down. And it makes more sense to put this one over there. Here, you go into there, you go into there, and you go into there. And the same thing down here. We move you down by one. And we move you all the way over there. And you all the way over there. And then we are absolutely golden over here. There we go. You go. Why are you over there? You need to be over here. Never mind. You do need to be over there. <laughs> I'm just being stupid. As I am always am. There we go. Good. And then you to there. You go to there, you go straight, you go up and in. Perfect. And then the only thing we need to connect over here is this thing, that thing, this thing, that thing. There we go. So if we do decide over here to add, and we should definitely add more assembly machines to make the steel production faster. Uh -huh, because I kind of didn't notice. The, the big problem we have over here is the steel production over here takes five seconds per ingot. And we're making the same amount of ingots as we make over here for copper. So we already doubled it down over here for iron. 
So we have to at least quadruple it down over here for steel. We can do that. We've got all the space over here. There's no issue over here with space. Though the only issue we do have is that these machines do need to be on this height to be affected by the beacons. Unless we give them their own little small beacon, we could also give them their own little small beacon and then we will be fine. Either way, that should solve the steel issue and that should at least solve the basic material issues that we have um, in space. And now the only thing we need to do is to make a big electric motor machine. However, that's going to be done next time around. So next time around, we are going to be taking a look at big electric motors. I'm already going to say the thing I always say at the end of this, I'm going to finish up that steel place over there off camera even though there could be a chance that I don't finish it off camera and we actually have to do it on camera because recording stuff at the moment is a bit time consuming and actually working is time consuming. Why is work always time consuming? Why is the thing that pays the most always costing the most time? God dang it. Nevertheless, thank you so much for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel into something bloody amazing. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening and until next time, see you around.